Okay, while I'm healing my hand, uh, oh, I got the flash on. Okay, see. Um, I think it'd be a gentle enough job to make a fire resistant carpet that sort of mimics this cool one we have in our hallway. So that is the sheet of drop sheet, canvas drop sheet that I'm going to use. And um, you can see it's had its fair share of dropping on it. Okay, now I'm basically ironing it uh, flat and I've wet it, soaked it uh, thoroughly because uh, it's cotton, I suppose, is my logic. And so that'll take it up and shrink it up and stiffen it up. Okay, there's the... Eh, take some pictures. That was the intention. There's the shape um, with just the edges folded to the correct uh, width, 28 inches. And then the whole thing gets folded in half. And that will be the... Uh, the width of it. Okay, the uh, canvas is under there. It's been ironed like crazy. So I have some weights on it to keep it flat and an old t-shirt to soak up some of the moisture. And sadly, what happens when you keep grout for a very long time is rather than smooth, it becomes all lumpy. So therefore, I'm going to chew it down and filter it because my concoction to dope up the canvas will consist of a combination of water-based paint, grout, and um, wood glue. Okay, so I've glued the folded mat uh, together. You saw the picture of that. I use Gorilla Glue and it's indoor outdoor use. Uh, duh, 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 there it says. Uh, type 2 water resistant. Um, type Bond has a good product as well. That just happened to be what I had. I mixed uh, grout. Boom, 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 boom. Grout that I um, filtered and crushed and whatnot. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, wet, wet. It just humidity had uh, hardened up a block of it. So um, I mix that in to the paint, and I just did it by eye. Uh, I used a white exterior uh, paint, um, and then I watered it down somewhat too, because I want this to soak in. And um, basically, I'm going to roll it out on the mat now. And I'm only going to do the one side. I want the, the underside to stay soft. So that's the plan. Okay, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it has quite a nice texture, and that's the sand from the grout. And so with the wood glue, so this should provide for a good uh, good base. And the white paint, uh, the, the sand was gray, the grout that I happened to have was gray, but any grout would do. So it uh, it's dulled the white paint, which is good, and... Uh, yeah, pretty pretty boring videos, just a white screen, but basically you can see where it almost has a bit of texture like a like a carpet would have. Okay, I've made little um, squares. And you see my method is just to take some greenish, bluish paint. It's what I had, so I'm using what I have. Drizzle it so that I can pat it down. Then, uh, take just a little bit here and let it, oops, let it drizzle around on that. Give it a touch down. And then take it over onto my, uh, make sure I'm lined up here somewhat, onto my carpetish thing. And that's that so far. Okay, not your prettiest carpet, 
but <laughs> it'll do. Uh, it looks a little orangey. It actually does not. It's the fluorescent lighting and whatnot, but um, it's actually red, uh, kind of a dull engine red or caboose red, as it says, boxcar red. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It'll certainly do. I can always, it, it didn't take long, so if I really don't like it, I can make up another one if I want. Different pack. There's the carpet. We're going to do a little test, nip a coal out of there. Let's grab the big one. What the heck, eh? And I'm working with one hand. It would be nice if I had the second hand. Okay. We'll grab... Well, we'll challenge grabbing. Okay. So we're going to put it on the, on the stove or on the pad. And you know what? I'm even going to get the air thing and blow on it. But this is just, that's the intention of this pad, is to make it so it doesn't, um, is to have, if coals come out of the fireplace, so this is my little beastie. Hmm, let's try it this way. That's better. So I'll get it nice and hot. And see. So already I can tell you that my little uh, fire carpet is a success because really there's no way a coal falling out of the wood stove would even get this hot. And you can see I have it on fire. And I'm actually egging it on here. And so there we go. So uh, I put some green little squares in with the uh, to finish off the thing. As you saw in the test burn, we did get a little bit of a, a burn, but you saw how harsh I was with it. I actually put the air to it to make it like really super hot, so it's not unexpected. And in practical terms, this is really just when we're loading and unloading the 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 wood stove with wood, should um, a chunk of coal roll out that it can sit there and not burn the wood down below. And the purpose of this is to add in just one more final layer of insulation between the wood stove and the floor. I'm pleased. So it's just, it's meant to look kind of like a, uh, you know, a very basic carpet. And it feels good on the feet. I was surprised. I expected to feel rough. And it does not feel rough. It feels pretty good. So i um, just waiting for the new little little squares. Let's see there, 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 over here to dry. And um, then I can probably move on and, and um, disassemble my dry fitted pipes and everything and set this up in the boat, do some other final things. And, and, and um, I don't know, it's snowing quite a bit, so I don't know that I'll get the boat out to do a test burn because I can't very well do a test burn in a tarp sheltered, right? So we'll see how that goes. But progress, at any rate, as long as you're making progress, you should feel fairly good about things. It's when you do nothing that you should start finding little things you can do to help motivate yourself, okay? There you go. That's enough. Have a good one. Thanks so much for watching, guys.